Hello everybody and welcome to this microeconomic video on taxes and subsidies. So firstly, before we go over any of this, what is a tax? Well a tax is an amount of money that individuals, people like you and me, have to pay to the government to finance government spending. So it's an amount of money which is either taken from us or we give to the government to finance their spending. And we have two types of tax. We have, first of all, in the top left, direct taxes. And direct taxes are taxes that come straight from us. They're taxes that come straight from our income or from our current account. And this is money that we never see. So for example, if I were to earn 26,000 pounds a year, 3,000 of this might be income tax. And because income tax is a direct tax, I will never ever see that 3,000 pounds. So I might earn 26,000 pounds a year, but each year I will only get 23,000 paid into my bank account because 3,000 that's going straight to the government and I'm never seeing it. So an example of direct tax would be like I said, income tax or perhaps corporation tax, tax on profit for businesses. Next, we have indirect taxes and indirect taxes are taxes that come from expenditure. So whenever you buy a good, you are taxed on buying that. So an example would be VAT. Every time you buy a good, a percentage of the price of that good is going to the government as an indirect tax. So VAT being value added tax or ad valorem tax. And you have other types of taxes known as unit taxes. So things like excise duty on uh, all types of things, mainly imports, as well as uh, tax on petrol. And these are all indirect taxes. When you buy these things, when you buy goods, when you buy petrol, when you buy imported things, you are taxed on them. And they are indirect taxes because they come from your expenditure, from your spending. Next, we have this idea of the incidence of tax. And the incidence of tax is the division of a tax burden between buyers and sellers. So who pays the tax? Is it the consumer, the person buying the good, or the producer, the person selling the good? And this only applies for indirect taxes. Now I said there that most tax will fall on a producer. And this is true if the good is price elastic. This is because if there were an increase in tax by say 5%, the company may not want to increase their price by a whole 5% because as the good is price elastic, they're gonna lose a huge amount of demand. So therefore, the company may de decide to absorb the tax and pay a lot of it itself out of profit it's already made in the past. So therefore, if the good that the company is selling is price elastic, then the incidence of tax will fall on the company, on the producer. But if the good being sold is price inelastic, then it is likely that the incidence of tax will fall on the consumer. And this is because if there were an increase in tax by 10%, the company knows that they can they can they can increase their whole price by 10% and demand won't change that much because the good is inelastic so therefore in this case the consumer is paying for most of the tax so therefore the incidence of tax or the burden of tax is on the consumer and finally in the bottom left we have subsidies and subsidies are a grant given by the government so the government gives money to cover the costs of production so for example, it, uh, it may cost me £100 to run my machine for an hour. I'm going to be paying about £40 of that and the government is going to subsidise the other £60. It's going to give me that £60. So my costs of production are being covered. And this essentially makes it cheaper for me to produce because I'm now only paying £40 instead of £100. So this encourages me to produce more. And it also may encourage consumers to consume more because I might be able to lower my prices because some of it's already being paid by the government. So a subsidy is a grant given by the government to cover the, cost, co cover the cost of production, which in turn has the aim of encouraging production or consumption of a good or service.